Mr. Spruill here. Today we're going to learn some shading techniques. Now one of the very first things you can learn about shading is, is that there are three different ways to hold your pencil when you're shading something. When you hold your pencil out here on the very end, like this, that's called extended. Another way to hold your pencil is taking three fingers and holding your pencil like this. That's called tripod. You can see like a tripod there. And the other one is the overhand method where you're holding your pencil overhand on top of your pencil. Now the first shading technique that we're going to learn is called blending. You're going to receive a template like this and each one is labeled at the top. It says blending here. It says light, medium, and dark. So what I want you to do, we're going to look at each one of these three and we're going to have the light coming in from this angle right here. So we're going to start shading this using the blending technique and we're going to just do it real light. Do it real lightly. Just hold your pencil and you don't apply a lot of heavy pressure. You're just going to do it lightly. You're not applying a lot of pressure to your pencil. You see I'm doing it real light. Then you're going to blend it in. If you take a tissue, some people like to use their finger. I like to use my finger. You can see how we blended that in real lightly. This is medium. We're going to put just a little more pressure on our pencil. Just a little more. Once again, we want to take our tissue. And we blend it in. This one says dark. That's when we're going to put the most pressure on our pencil. We're going to press harder. And that's when you want to probably move down a little bit on your pencil, the way you're holding it. Move down just a little on your pencil. You're putting more pressure on it. And we'll take our tissue again. And we'll push up on it so we kind of blend it in. That's where it gets its term, blend. Now you see we've got light, medium, and dark. The next type of shading that we want to learn is called hatching. And hatching is nothing more than parallel lines. You might want to take a ruler to do hatching. I'm going to turn my paper sideways. And I'm just going to draw a series of lines. Going up, I'm going to draw these kind of light. You kind of want to evenly space these as you go out and up. It doesn't matter which direction you run your lines. You can run them horizontally or you can run them vertically. Now that's light. Now we're going to go medium. We're 
gonna put just a little more pressure on our pencil. Just a little. And move up as we go. Putting just a tad more pressure on our pencil as we go. There's medium. It's just a little bit darker than our light. Now we want to go dark. That's when we put the most pressure on our pencil. You might want to make your lines just a little thicker. And you can see I didn't take it all the way over to the end. You get a better effect if you don't take your lines all the way to the end now you can see that that is just a little bit darker than the medium and there you have the light now turn your page over and we have cross hatching now it's just about like hatching except we cross it, and I'll show you what we do. We'll start light. And once again, I'm putting less pressure on my pencil. As I go up, Now, with cross hatching, it's just merely what it says. You're crossing. Just making little cross marks through your drawing. Cross hatching is a real popular form of shading. That's light. Now we're going to go medium. We're going to put just a little more pressure on our pencil. Just a little more pressure as we go up. And once again, it doesn't matter whether if you start vertically or horizontally, or even if you want to do your cross hatching in a diagonal fashion, it does not matter. What matters is, is that you're crossing. And you don't have to make your lines the same length. You just want to make them as parallel as you can to each other. Now there's medium. Now we're going to go darker. And that's when you put the most pressure on your pencil. You can see I'm pulling my pencil back harder as I'm going through it. Making my lines just a little thicker. Now we want to cross. Once again, putting more pressure on my pencil as I 
move my ruler. Some people are good at doing cross hatching free handed without a ruler. I think it always looks best if you use a ruler. Now, see so you've got light, medium, and dark. That's cross hatching. Now the next is stippling. And stippling, another word for stippling is it called pointillism. But stippling is nothing more than just dots. And we're gonna to try to make them pretty light. It's nothing but dots. And if you stipple, stipple with a pencil, it's best to have kind of a dull pencil. And you can use different types of hardness in your lead. Now that's, that's light. And we're gonna go a little more medium. <coughs> Just a little bit more medium. You can see that's just a little bit more. Now we're going to go dark with our stippling. That's when we press harder. We make dots maybe a little more larger than the other. There's a whole style of painting called pointillism or stippling, which we may get to try this year. But you can see we've got light, medium, and dark. Stippling's just making dots. Now, another form of shading is called scumbling or scribbling. And I'll show you how that works. You just real lightly scribble around it's just scribbling you're just scribbling around just kind of scribble around that's all there is to scumbling that's light we're going to put a little more pressure on our pencil and go and some people really enjoy scumbling in their artwork. Some artists use it. Some are very, very good with using it. You can see how it gives a shading effect. Now we're gonna go dark, and that's when you put the most pressure on your pencil. See, there's no real set way that you go in on Scumbling. But you can see that it does add a shading to the object you've drawn. So, looking over this real quickly, we've done scumbling, we've done stippling, we've done cross hatching, and we have done hatching, and my very favorite of all, we've done blending. Let's do these today. Have a lot of fun doing it. Thank you for watching.